Hi, my name is Mandy Drogan. I'm the campaign director for Next Generation Texas at the Texas Public Policy Foundation. But my most important job is I'm a mom. I'm a mom of three babies that I have been entrusted with to raise. And I've spent the past six months traveling across our great state. Far East Texas, West Texas, South Texas, North Texas, Dallas, Houston, Austin. I have talked to parents across the spectrum of race and socioeconomic status. This is not my child. This is a child of a mother that drove in from Conroe yesterday to stand in the rain. To ask you all to give her a choice. These are my children. I have a choice. When my six-year-old got into an excellent public charter school, Three days later, I looked online and I found a house to move to because I have a choice. I believe if my research is correct, almost every single one of you are a parent. You all have choices. But we would be remiss if we do not talk about the millions of parents and children that are in an education system that continues to fail them. 50% of our children cannot read on grade level. 60% cannot do math on grade level. I know that many of you senators are being lit up by lobbyists that are sitting behind us or outside saying, we just need more money. If we pretend like that money will solve the problem in our public schools, I do not think that any of you would hesitate to put that dollar amount in every classroom. But the fact of the matter is, is that as I crisscross the state, I am constantly shared stories by mothers and fathers who say I have no transparency. Or when I get transparency, I see that a classroom is being run by someone that is not sharing my values. But worse than that, they are indoctrinating my children against what I am raising them to believe. The roots of this great state of Texas, love of faith, family, and country. I heard a teacher in Amarillo stand up and say that she spent 18 years in Dallas. She did not know that kids still said the Pledge of Allegiance in our schools in Texas. She did not know that there were options outside of a system that is teaching counter to her values until a private school came and recruited her away and she was amazed to see that children still stand for our flag. She was amazed to see that children say, yes ma'am. She was amazed to see that you can discipline your students and they will still love you and learn. I have story after story I walk away each night, last night, I was right outside of Houston where 600 parents showed up and said, fight for me. Tell me what I need to do to make that legislature listen to me. I had a teacher, much like the teachers that you're talking about, her husband is disabled, he cannot work. And she works at that school, so her three children to attend. She also does a second job she called me this morning and said, Mandy, I listened to you talk about transparency and quality and respect for every parent. I am not rich, I am in debt, but I will do anything to make sure that my children have the access to the education that fits my values and that provides them with a quality that I demand that they have. And she called me this morning and said, please make sure this is everyone because I am not rich, but I am sacrificing to be here. So please know that the great state of Texas, black, white, Hispanic, Asian, whatever their race, whatever their income, no matter how many children they have, they are showing up. They are showing up across Texas. They are showing up to stand on the Capitol steps and they are here to lift you up and support them. They are here to say we are united together. This is not supposed to be a political football. This is our children's future. This is the future of Texas. 
So as all of you get your text we're gonna, messages, we're have to wrap it up. Thank please know that there are thousands upon thousands of parents begging you to stand with them. We feel the support. Thank you very much. And we're here to support uh, all of you. Thank you for your testimony.